Hello, welcome to Just Movie Post. Today's review will be of Paranormal Activity 3. Here's a trailer. Camera. Something's going on. Baby kiss. Do the knocking game you showed me, remember? <laughs> How do you do it? I don't know, ask her. I really like that trick. It's not a trick. She's been doing it all day. There was something in the house. Christy's like connected. A real life poltergeist. She's like, Carol Ann, I just gotta film this stuff. I set up my cameras around the house, right? I can maybe capture something. Yeah. As you can see from the clip, this movie is a prequel to all the other Paranormal Activity movies in the series. It involves around the little girls, their stepdad, the mother, the grandma, in the story. And a really freaked out babysitter. <laughs> um, really, this movie, from the clip, you know, shows the, the entity. I'm not going to say it's a ghost or a devil or what it is. It's an entity. Uh, what it does, what it messes with the girls and all that. Let's go watch another clip from the trailer. Okay, what, seven? Julie, watch, watch, watch. See that? What? Oh my god. <gasps> what is going on? Hey, Christy. I saw you talking oh. to somebody. I know. He's very sweet. He's my friend. I don't see him. Staring right next to you. Honey, he's not there. <laughs> this is not simply about Christy. This is connected to your side of the family. It definitely knows about her. Katie? I'm worried about you and the girls. Somebody say something! I felt like digging in my side. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's okay. I was scared. <laughs> We're getting out of here. Okay. Let's get in the car and drive. All the clips in the movie. The things I really liked with this movie was was the little girls acting. They were really good acting in it when it was really supposed to be scary. You know, I'm not going to give this a really high end review because, you know, it's the third in the saga. I give it about two and a half stars. One thing I really did not like about it was in the trailer, all the clips in the trailer was that, um, or not in the movie, or not all of them in the trailer are in the movie. It will probably be on the DVD. I did not like the slow panning effect. I mean, it was kind of neat the first time, but over and over and over, and you're just staring there like, "Where? What's going to happen? You know, where is it? You know, is something going to happen? You know, you're just sitting there, just looking, looking for any little thing to move, and think, "Oh, there he is, or there it is," because we don't know if it's a guy or girl, or we don't know what it is really still. Um, and I really. You know, it it didn't delve into the backstory that we were hoping to see with this this movie. Since it is a prequel, where the the girls that are in the first two movies are little bit of children, it does a little bit in the backstory of what it could be. But there's still a major character in the storyline that we still have not seen in any of the previous movies. If this one does pretty well, they might do a Paranormal Activity 4. And I hope if they do do that, they delve more into that character that we don't see in any of the past movies. So like I said, two and a half stars. It does go for the, the cheap thrill of jumping at you or something like that. It, in my opinion, skip it. You know, wait for it to come on Netflix or... Blu-ray, so you'll get all the extra scenes in in the movie. It might make a little more sense in the movie with the extra scenes. I hope if they do do it, I hope they do an extended version or a director's cut. But yeah, it would I pay to see this movie? No, I really wouldn't. That's it from Just Movie Post. Don't forget to join. Don't forget. Don't forget. And don't forget this either. To subscribe to our videos, go to the website, 
Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and we will have an upcoming contest related to Boondock Saints 2 very soon. Be on the, out, be on the lookout for that video. Thanks, bye.